Hello. Um, quick video just showing a few of my favorite mods um, and drippers, different setups from, um, well, I say this year, but this year, last year, 2016, really. The ones, yeah, there's no point reviewing things when they're brand new. Everything works when it's brand new. Um, these are all these setups I'm going to show you are things I've been using for months, you know, probably a year in a lot of cases, over a year in some cases. Um, they're just things that I like, nice setups. I'm not saying they're the best. Um, just things that I use, things that I like. We're going to start off with the um, gorgeous orange axe mod from AX Mods, obviously, and the Pharaoh, which um, it didn't sell too well to be honest. I've sold out now, but it didn't sell too well. Um, I think the Rip Tripper's name probably had a bit more of a detrimental effect than a positive effect on sales of that one. Now I am going to get some more in because everyone that's had one um, loves them. I mean, I, I, I didn't want to like it because of the Rip Tripper's effect, but um, I like it. I use it a lot. Um, anyway, we'll have a look at that and we'll have a look at um, three or four others. And if you're wondering, yes, I am on my knees, um, sat in front of the armchair. Um, obviously haven't got a studio to hand, but uh, excuse me if the dog pisses about as well, but he can't help himself. All right, cheers. Okay, Axe Mod Switcheroo. Uh, done custom in orange for me. Uh, we've got the Black Pharaoh from Tiji Flavor. Actually, Geek Vape, supposedly um, in collaboration with Rip Trippers, or he had a hand in it. Um, the Axe Mod's beautiful. I mean, it's um, dual 18650s. Um, you can see there it goes, uh, they're in series. But we've got a switch here, Switcheroo, which you can take them from series, off button, and then it's parallel. So you can change between the two. To be honest, it's not often I use them in parallel. Um, using a series, got a nice full battery there, 8.1 volts going through them. Um, just really nicely finished inside the, um, uh, the Faro. I didn't want to like it. Um, it's big, so it goes well on the Axe Mod. Um, I am getting a gold Faro actually, which will look a bit more swag. And that drip tip is an old EVL one he did for me. Um, I asked him to do me a tip. Um, if not in the shape of, because obviously you can't do that on a lathe, but I said if not in the shape of, you do it in the spirit of a bee. Um, and that's what he came up with, it's bloody huge. But it's great, it's lovely, it's really nice to vape. Um, and it's, he's got it, he's got the spirit of the bee. Okay, there's the axe mod. Let's have a quick look at the Pharaoh. Really nice big deep juice well. Um, I'll try and focus on this, it's going to be a nightmare, but I'll try. Um, you can have a look down the sides where the wick goes down. And you'll see that um, there's the little door there that goes down into the juice where you can close it off when it's full. Um, just helps it stop it spilling. And um, to be honest, not necessary. I don't think so. Anyway. You can put a really nice big fat coil in this. It's clamped down on either side. Um, and when you've got nice dual coils in there, you get two eyes and you get a really nice transformer type sort of face on there. Sort of granite face, transformer face type thing. Um, Faro, it's ideal, you can put two coils running that way, you can have a dual coil, sort of parallel wrap running that way. This time it's got a really simple um, 0.7mm gauge canthal, uh, so quite thick canthal, 13, 14 wraps, something like that, around about half a mil, half a centimetre, 5 mil um, bit, so really quite a big coil, but um, you know, it's, it's okay in series on this mod. I've got a safe resistance there um, for the batteries, and do you need to see this? Probably not really, but we will, because this is what you do on vape videos, we will fire it up. And look, vapor comes chuffing out. Vapor comes chuffing out nicely actually, I quite like that. Right, got the Bellus, another one of my favourite tanks of, um, well, it's probably the year before last actually, but I'll say 2016. I think that's when I got it in stock. Um, 
I didn't use it for a long time because I couldn't work out how to get the uh, build deck out. Um, the build deck actually, it doesn't unscrew from the rest of the, the chamber. Um, it took me a while to work out. <coughs> oh, it took it's taken a while now as well. How it fits in, it just pushes in. We click, and the amount of time, first time I tried it, I was on there, I was getting pliers out, I was trying to twist it, but it's kept in by a little catch there. Um, it was a long time before I realised that it just pulls out like that. Uh, it takes dual coils, not a huge deck really, um, really quite a small deck, but it takes dual coils. Um, people have said about leaking, but I don't have any problem with it leaking at all. Really nice tank as well, really nice tank. Um, I've got it set. Would you believe it? I've got the DNA E Fusion and the wattage I've got for this dual coil Bellus is a ridiculous 1.5 if you can see probably not if you never focus these things but it's 30 watts anyway you probably can't see it there you might visit yeah you can see that look 30 watts um, crazy sort of uh, wattages you guess sort of we've got the um, resistance 0.4 uh, ohms so nothing spectacular there either As you can see, it's not much good for Vatrix, um, but it's really good flavour, really nice flavour. I've got Father Guns Ruin in there. Um, the DNA 200 E Fusion, that was probably um, 2015, to be honest. Um, again, I like it. The battery life's not very good. Um, it's a LiPo in there. Um, battery life's not very good at all. Um, I took the carbon fibre panels off the side because they just looked a bit shit and a bit flimsy and a bit fake. Uh, so I just peeled them off and polished up the... Um, I don't know, I guess it's aluminium, something like that. Um, that is really nice, and that's a tip from Graham Kilminster, the Siam Tips. Um, lovely tips Graham makes out in Thailand, Scotsman out in Thailand, um, and he makes some really beautiful tips. Um, that one, again, you can never see them properly on here, but you know, it's, it's sort of translucent on those stripes. Um, really, really nice. Uh, back in the series, um, best tanks and stuff from 2016. You know, it's 2017 now, but yeah, we're looking at last year still because I know what works now. There's no point in reviewing stuff when it's um, brand new because it all works then when it's brand new. You want to see how it works after a little while. Um, many of you will recognise Tesla Invader 3, um, mod of the year, mod of the decade as far as I'm concerned, for the price um, 30 35 quid, dual batteries in series. Uh, potentiometer you control the voltage not the wattage so it depends on the coil you put in there but potentially you can get sort of over 200 watts out of it depends on your batteries and your coil it's got a few safety features you know sort of dual polarity uh, minimum voltage uh, low wattage protection uh, so it should cut out when any of those conditions occur um, no display on it so you don't know what wattage you're vaping at but you don't need to know um, you find what suits you find the right voltage for the coil I've got it on about half power here. Um, it's a low resistance coil, it fires down to 0 .0 0 0.1, 0 0.1 uh, ohms. Um, this is probably on about the limit, I think. This one is. Um, it's in the Sapor, this is um, the new Watofo Sapor dripper. Um, still, uh, last year's V1 Sapor is probably my best selling dripper. Um, V2 Sapor, I've sold out the first lot. Um, I am getting some more in. Um, it's great. It's it doesn't look as good, it doesn't look as distinctive as the V1, I don't think. It's got the um top air which goes in from the top and it's also got these um side air flows as well that you can open. And we can close them and get even more juice in there. Um I think it's well it doesn't really matter. I mean I think it's enough from the top one. I probably have one about one and a half usually. Um always have the top air open. Um it just works. Um Simple fit, uh, nice uh, pull-off 
it's a nice big juice, so it probably doesn't look that big, it's a 25mm dripper because the coils are so bloody big. Um, this is um, Geek Vapes Caterpillar track wire I'm using in this one. Um, pretty good diameter, um, lots of wraps, dual coils. You need a powerful mod to um, let it go really. The only display on this Invader 3 is the little blue LED. Um, that also serves as a low battery warning indicator which comes on um, just as the battery is about to go. These coils really take some putting uh, some power to get in there um, <laughs> to heat them up in the first place. They're great. Um, you never burn anything on coils like this because they never get that hot. Um, you, you know, they're just great. They'll, they'll stay in there probably for not far off a year, to be honest. You don't need to change coils when they're this fat. Just whip the cotton out, um, give it a dry burn, and away you go. Um, yeah, the reservoir is quite big. Not as big as the Faro, obviously, but it's big. It doesn't claim to be a dripper tank. It's a simple dripper. Uh, velocity deck. Simple dripper. Simple box mod, um, and another stunning drip tip from Graham Kilminster at Siam Tips. Again, um, I'm not sure what the I mean, it's sort of wood effect. It's not wood, it's one of his acrylic ones, but um, it's a nice wide bore, nice tall one. Um, I think I probably asked for this one, particularly like this. Um, just really well finished. Very nice dripper, very nice tank, both very affordable. 25 quid for the dripper, 35 quid for the tank. Um, the tip was probably um, about 20 quid, something like that. 18 quid, I don't know. Um, but well worth it. Um, two batches. There's hardly any um, waste of space in it. It's all um, really nice and compact. Lovely compact size. There's no sign of a rattle anywhere on it. Um, I must have sold probably 30 of these, and um, I've only had two returns. And one of them was this one. Um, customer just you know, thought the button was misfiring now and then. Um, I use it myself, it's perfectly usable. Um, I haven't noticed any misfires. Um, Rudy, if you're listening, um, thanks. Okay, again, Tesla Invader 3, already seen it. As everybody knows, it's my mod of the year, my mod of the decade. I love this one. Um, great. Can't say anything more. Works. Doesn't need to drain the battery, no silly features, no USB, no charging even. Um, but one of the things that always goes wrong, or often goes wrong, is of course for returns, is the USB port on a lot of uh, mods. It's just not up to the job and once that goes they can't charge it until it gets returned. This one hasn't got a USB port, you need to charge the batteries externally which is safer in a way uh, and quicker and it means you haven't got a USB port to balls up and cause you to return the mod. Um, no display, doesn't drain the battery, no you don't know what wattage you're on but you're not fiddling around trying to get it exactly right. Um, this tank, people either like the lightning bolt or they hate it I am um, the kind of person who thinks that's pretty swag. I like it. Um, yes, it's, it's, it could be a bit naff, and I've seen quite a few reviews that I think is a bit naff. Um, EH Pro Morph. Um, this has got the RBA deck in as standard. Um, it also comes with um, a deck that takes the Atlantis coils and another deck that takes the subtank coils. Um, you can buy them separately if you want. Um, so not you know not a nice backup really. It's, it's it's better than trying to do both jobs on one deck. Um, it is quite a small deck, only for a single coil really. Uh, K fun style, you know, across the air hole in the middle. Um, decent size airflow, not massive though. It's slightly restrictive um, for lung hitting, but not not restrictive at all for me. Um, some people might find it a bit tight, um, but yeah, some people. I don't think many will. The flavour is absolutely brilliant in these. Um, I haven't had a single leak, I haven't put a build in that's leaked. 
easy to build, easy to wick. Um, and yeah, it's a surprise one for me. I've, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting much from it. Um, it's under 20 quid we're selling it for. Um, and it's um, a bargain, really. And next to the Bellus, it's um, a little bit bigger, but neither of them are anywhere near the size of, say, the Vapor Giant Mini or um, a sub tank or anything like that. I mean, even next to the Pharaoh, okay, the Pharaoh's got a ridiculously big drip tip on it, but yeah, there you go. Uh, the Morph, yeah, surprisingly, I've got the um, standard drip tip on. Um, it says Morph on it. I think you maybe just make that out. Bloody hell. I'm sure it's a nod to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you know, the Lightning Bolt and the Morph, the name. Um, as I say, it's either naff or you love it. I love it. Hmm. Well, thanks for listening. I've just noticed a gap. If you can see that. Can you see that gap? Look at that. Lose points on that. Not so happy. Oh well. Cheers for listening.